a conversation, I remember some sort of conversation that he was having with, it must have been the paramedics, and then he phoned them, and, 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 then, and, then, they, and then they came, they arrived, we got in the ambulance and, and they were working on him all the way there. They were working on my baby and I didn't even get it looking. I couldn't even, I couldn't even hold my baby and I could tell, I could tell he didn't look well. And then he got to the hospital. And he got the doctors. Waiting room. Just me. Just me. Joshua. And then, then there was that long, horrible nothing. Long, terrible. I mean, Joshua, he tried, you know. He said, don't worry, he'll be all right. He's in the best place now, and it, it'll be fine. And, and, you know, all we can do now is pray. And all I wanted to do, I just wanted to shout at him and tell him to shut up! But, but then the door opened. And we looked at their faces and we knew, we knew that what we feared. Joshua cried, he cried to tears, the tears that were falling to the ground. He tried to hold me. He put his arms around me. And I just bawled myself into his cane. And then, and then I just, I just scowled. I don't, I don't know. I just scowled. And then he looked at me. His tears frozen in his eyes. And I just looked through him. I just looked through him. Like he wasn't there. I hardly lived in the house after that. I only went back when I needed something. Mainly lived at my parents' house. And if I knew Joshua wasn't there, then I'd go back and collect some clothes and stuff like that. And then one day I went home. Well, I could hear something. I could hear something in the house. I wasn't sure what it was. There was somebody in the house. So I went into the kitchen and I got hold of a wine bottle took my shoes off, crept up the stairs. The noise was coming from Joshua's bedroom. He was my son too, you know. I loved him too. He'd have been one today. Joshua, I'm sorry. So sorry. I'm sorry I didn't let you get to know your son. for me? What made you stay? What made you wait through all this?
didn't stay for you. I didn't stay for you at all. I stayed for that cute little angel. The one who sent me my first Valentine's card. I stayed for that cute little angel. I used to put rose petals on my moped. Carl GA loves JM. <laughs> and you should come back someday. I'm sorry. And when she did, she wanted me to be here. And I wanted to be here for her too, Jen. Tea. Thank you. You're a blessed woman. You are so blessed, girl. I know. So blessed. I know. <laughs> now you see, he's brought me out tonight to hear, to see you. Like nothing's happened. And you, Glorious, you are wonderful. A wonderful person. Please don't ever stop singing. You mean so much to us all. You see, not everybody can go to church. But even the church people can come here. And you know the truly amazing thing? I started believing again. Look, I'm so sorry. I, I hope I haven't spoiled the concert for everyone else. I'm no, sorry. No, you <laughs> haven't. Look, look. I, I don't know if you believe in angels or anything, but I think you were sent here for me. <laughs> Listen, go out there and kiss that man of yours for me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I will. Please stay for the rest of the concert, won't you? Yeah. Okay, but thank you. I've, I've got to get changed now. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> oh, but take I... care.